It's time for Len's Nugget of Knowledge. That's right, Jimmy. Uh, this, of course, is um, the first full day of spring. Yes, uh, the word equinox, as in the vernal equinox, right, comes from the Latin for equal and night. You know, the equinoxes are the only times when the sun rises directly due east and sets directly due west for everybody on planet Earth. Okay. Earthworms spend the winter buried deep below what's called the frost line. But the annual spring showers reduce the oxygen in the soil, so they have to come up to the top if they're going to breathe. That's why the first full moon in the month, a couple of days ago, the first full moon in March is known as the worm moon, mm -hmm. where the earthworms are wiggling up. We are not the only planet that gets to experience an equinox. In fact, every planet in the solar system has one. But both hemispheres receive the same amount of light. Venus has one every couple of months. Uranus, once every 20 years or so. Wow. Okay. In ancient Jewish mythology, we read that the water in certain springs and rivers becomes unsafe to drink during the solstice and during the vernal equinoxes and the autumnal equinox. That's because supernatural powers are loose. Okay. Okay. You want to believe that? Of course, yeah, it doesn't actually happen. But who can say what happens in a cemetery on Emmanuel Hill in the tiny town of Stahl, Kansas on the first day of spring? Legend has it you'll find a gateway to the underworld there. That's according to Mark Moran who wrote a book called Weird U.S. This gateway is one of several places around the world where the devil, Beelzebub, can pop up into the human world. Only twice a year. Once, the vernal equinox, and the other, of course, is Halloween. People visiting the cemetery report hearing growling, unseen arms grabbing them, strange amnesia overcoming them. So if you want to visit it on Halloween or next spring, that is the town of Stull, Kansas, S-T-U-L-L, -L, and uh, the cemetery on Emmanuel Hill. Something Ask for it. Something and tell them Lynn sent you. Something tells me they sell <laughs> coffee mugs and t-shirts there. <laughs> Just, right. <laughs> Just like in Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah. Where the flying saucer crashed. It's potential right. uh, marketing uh, for yeah. that. Uh, they're installed. <laughs>